In this part of the video, we're going to cover identifying metric threads. We'll start with the red panel. It says metric on it. And even though both of these are metric, this one is what you're more commonly going to think of just as your standard metric threads. The threads that I'm working with in this part of the video are not on the end of an actual hose. I couldn't find any hoses that had the metric threads. So for this one, I am working with threads that I already know what they are. I'm working with uh, 18. Okay, so if I take the cap off here, we've got the JIC on this end. I'm just working with the uh, size 18 metric thread on this end. And so it's going to be size 18 and it's going to have a pitch of one and a half. And so the first step to do is to find the hole that it matches up to. Just for illustration, um, it doesn't fit into the 16 and the 20. There's a little bit of wiggle room, but in the 18 it fits perfectly. Even when I shake it back and forth, there's really no movement. And as you can see on the bottom there, so here it's in the 18 hole, here it's in the 20. You can see that there's a little bit of room there. And then here, of course, it doesn't fit through the 16. So it's 18, that's the hole that it fits through. And then the thread pitch. I personally find this a little bit difficult or a little bit tricky, but basically what you're doing is you're resting the threads against the thread identifier here and it has to they have to go down into the notch. So in this case, as you can see, it fits perfectly in the, the ridges fit perfectly at the notches. You can slide it back and forth. So it's a 1.5 pitch. Just for illustration purposes here, when I try to fit these threads down in the 2.0 notch, they don't fit and then Likewise, when I go to the smelt, the 1.25, you can see that they don't, they don't fit down in there perfectly either. So it's the 1.5, they fit in there really nice. The ridges fit really nice into the notches and you can easily slide it back and forth. So here we're working with a 18 1.5 metric thread. And then this is a number 12 British pipe thread that I'm working with here. So. And the 12 hole fits in there perfectly. The 16, it doesn't fit in. Or sorry, the 10, it doesn't fit in. The 16, it's way too big. So just to illustrate here, it's in the 16. Here it's in the 12. You can see there's really no, well, take that back. It's when you're on the threads, I guess, you have to focus on the threads. You don't want to slide it all the way down because then there's a little bit of looseness. Here you can see it's a nice snug fit. And then here it doesn't even go through the 10 hole. Okay, so we've confirmed that it's number 12. And then for the threads, so for this one, I'm actually not sure what the thread pitch is. Okay, that seems like a perfect fit. 14. So it's a 12-14. The size is 12 or three quarter inch. The size is 12 and the pitch is 14 for this fitting. 